Hello, Froggy here, and today I'll be showing you how to get to the end of the Altar of Reflection from Patrol. You're going to need two people for this one because we'll be using a Quantum Sparrow in Witch's Echo. And to do that, we're going to want to get out of map in Yasma first. This is still the most convenient way that I know to do that. Jump up on this rock and up over onto a ledge over here, and then... Huh. Could have sworn that hole used to be larger. Now we're just going to go right up that little gap there. Just did this like three times effortlessly before recording, but... Of course now it's giving me a little bit of trouble. Ah, uh, third tries a charm. And I'm just going to make sure I'm as high as possible. A nice gentle flight over. And right into the gap. So loading back into Miasma can be a little bit tricky. I've been favoring the spot on the left that I'm going to here lately. I find it's fairly consistent. So it does make it slightly more annoying for the, uh, the next step. So just walk into the side here and you should have a long load. Which would be good for a Quantum Sparrow, but that's not where we want to put it. Now we're just going to cross over to the left. It's kind of hard to see what you're doing, but I would just swing and go for it. It'll probably make it over pretty easily. Now you can just walk along the left side here to avoid the load. You can't actually just walk off, so you don't have to worry too much. Once you've gotten into the fog a little bit, just summon a sparrow, boost in, and get off. If you die to the load, it isn't a big deal. You just have to get out of the map again to find your sparrow. Here's where your second person comes in. Bachman Eddy is currently acting as my observer, using the death cam to give me a view of where I am. He's currently located in the funnel that goes down to the mirror dimension area that Altar of Reflection is hidden away in. You can see, once I jump to a certain point, the camera kind of freaks out. You can deal with the flashing if you want, but this view also works. I need to guide my sparrow over to where he is so that I can actually reach it. The quantum sparrow is not affected by barriers, but guardians are. So have your observer scout out a good place to leave the sparrow, and then they can guard it to make sure that it doesn't slip down the side after you get off. And now it's time to go meet up with Bach in the funnel. So, the funnel is over towards the kind of Pyramid City section. A little bit before that on the right. Dropping down to it can be a bit tricky, but there's no harm in dying to the death barriers a few times while you try to get the drop right. I want to jump out kind of towards the chess pieces and down onto the land below. There's a pretty good drop point if you follow along the edge here to about the backside and then right uh, around this uh, little corner here, just drop off. Ah. Reunited at last. Although at this point you probably want your observer to leave, because otherwise when you attempt the next part you may find that your sparrow ends up teleporting into unreachable locations. Anyways, now it's time to do the floor breach. My preferred method of doing this is using Ballistic Slam. If you end up missing, which you're likely to a lot, you can use Heart of Innermost Light to get your melee back very quickly. 
You're going to want to run past your sparrow, turn, and then slam and ride at the same time. You'll want to make sure that uh, one of your hands points straight down when you signal. And then get off on that side and spam crouch. And if all goes well, you should go right through the floor. I made a critical error there, though. And you will see what it was shortly. So the hub area to load into Altar of Reflection is below us, as you can see there. But we do still need to reach it. You can kill your momentum by doing a heavy swing on your sword. And then, if, unlike me, you did not forget to switch back to your lions, you should be able to easily sword fly over. Not quite fast enough on the swap, alas. Anyways, let's do that again. Part of innermost light on to get quick retries, and I find it helps to not be as floaty when you're trying to go for the melee here. I would recommend being off to the right or left. If you don't point straight up and straight down, you'll probably want to retry. If you're fully upside down, that won't cut it. And, of course, you're going to want to swap back onto your sword flying setup. Just double checking my directions one more time so I get off on the correct side. Spamming crouch. And we've got it again. I'm looking over to the left because there are some glowy rings that I was hoping I would be able to see, but alas, the fog hides them. We'll just check them out from below. Once again, when we get down, we can just stop our momentum with a heavy swing. And now we can sword fly normally. Because we started from so high up, we can gain back some height to get over the top of these walls without having to switch back over to stasis and stasis climb up the side. Would be a lot more time. Almost at the top. And there we go. So about those rings. If you look up here, you'll see one red and one kind of whitish one. From uh, the best of my knowledge, those are artifacts from the raid. You'll notice some ringed lights as you go through there. Just getting rid of that blinking indicator. And we've made it all the way to the Altar of Reflection. And luckily the load does in fact work. And we are in. Let me just take a moment to take in the nice scenery. It is... A rather pretty place. Originally, I thought I was going to end the video here, but I figured I might as well see if I could get any further. Naturally, the normal door to go forwards is closed. But when has a closed door stopped us? So I noticed while I was doing my jumping here and trying to see if I could Titan slither further in, that there is this one section of wall that is very close to the height ceiling. With just a little bit of height ceiling barrier push, we ought to be able to make it through there. Probably will want Stasis to get up close, but it's going to take a hunter to clear that jump, along with Stompies and High Jump. Once again, Bachmanetti is helping me out. He's on a stasis titan because they make stasis climbing very easy. And he's just going to give me a platform to stand on. You want it to be a little low. If it's too high, you won't be able to gain the momentum you need. Now I just gotta face down. 
get a quick double jump and blade barrage right over nice and clean one door down hopefully the others won't be that uh, bad but that does leave us on a hunter which is a little bit out of my comfort zone let's see looks like the second door is a no-go and maybe we can do something with the top again hopefully it won't have to be a super because i got lucky on getting the other one first try and cooldowns are no joke these days Seems like the height ceiling is close, but Hunter Jump has a little bit of barrier push too, and maybe that'll be enough. Oh, nice, easy. Door number two down. And now we only have one more door to go. From what I recall, you can just go around this one, although generally when I've done that from the mission, it's been on a uh, tight end where bypassing the door is easy, and I'm not skilled with the various skating techniques that would make this much easier. In fact, before I made this video, I didn't even have any sort of stasis climbing set up on my hunter, so... This one is very unoptimized. So I'd recommend climbing up to this first area here as a starting point. The edge of the box comes right against the building here, but luckily it is close enough that we can just kind of sneak around it. That would place a initial crystal to get over here, but you're probably not going to have them flat enough to easily round this corner. So I would plant another one, which should land just about flat here. I actually found that if you slide into the corner, it gives you a sizable boost, almost like a mini barrier, sir, which is quite handy because the area behind it is a turn back. This is where I would be... Very nice to have a speedy technique. That was very close and probably took me about 45 minutes of tries to get there. But once you round this corner, you're out of the turn back and you can leisurely make your way to the center. I wasn't taking any chances with that second grenade. And now we've done it all the way to the end of the Altar of Reflection without having the convenience of any of the doors opening for us. What emotes do I even have on my hunter? Eh. Well. Anyways, just going to enjoy this space. Thanks to Ace and Salvo for showing that you could use a Quantum Sparrow to break into the bubble. It was quite a challenge to get here, so I might as well enjoy the moment. Maybe take a little swim. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this and try getting out here for yourself. It is a fun challenge.